Hey, what's up? It's Kyle with KyleParish.net bringing you another tutorial using Photoshop. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to soften up the uh, the freckles on this uh, the face of this girl. I, I just did a Google search for freckles and this is a good high res image that that pulled up. Um, nothing wrong with freckles. Just uh, this is just a, a tutorial to show how you would remove. Um, Blemishes or, or freckles or things that you would you know not necessarily want in a, in a image. Anyways, that was a disclaimer. Um, the first thing we're going to do is select the layer. You want to select your brush. Put your hardness probably about 50. Uh, select a, a, a brush size that you're going to you know be able to get around some of the features. One one of the main things you want to remember when using the uh, quick mask tools which is what we're going to use is you don't want to go over eyebrows eyes any of the hair uh, edges of the lips nose anything that 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 has some detail to it because what it'll do it uh, you'll see later on why but you want to maintain all the uh, all those those sharp details and and you know well you'll just see so what you want to do is come down here and, and select the quick mask mode and uh, just start painting on you can stay away from uh, the eyebrows eyelashes edges of the eyes things like that come down here stay within the face you don't want to jump off into the, the neck or any other areas come just below the lip come around just take your time uh, if you mess up just hit control Z unless you haven't released your mouse button then then when you do it, it's gonna all erase so I would do little little portions at a time let go of your mouse start a new a new run that way if you have to undo it doesn't undo everything you've done just keep going until you've just about got it all with that size brush and then your open bracket key on your keyboard uh, resizes your brush so or you can come up here and resize it there but whatever works for you okay that's getting pretty good I'm just gonna a little bit right in here right here around the between the nose and the lip that looks pretty good now what you want to do is click on the quick mask uh, tool or whatever uh, click on it now that selects everything uh, except what I painted it's kinda backwards for some reason I'm not sure why it does that but what you have to do is go to select and inverse now we have just selected what we painted hit control C that copies it create a new layer hit control V that pastes it uh, this is actually what we have to work with now now this next step is uh, the, the simple part of it. With that layer selected, what you want to do is go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Depending on the size of the picture and all that, and uh, the re you know the resolution and all, depends on what uh, pixel of Gaussian Blur you want to add. For this picture, I'm going to try maybe around a 15 or 16, maybe a little bit less. Maybe now let's let's try that. It looks it doesn't look uh, looks really fake right there. But bear with me. Once you hit OK, come up to opacity. Still on the on the uh, the mask layer here. Come up to opacity and just start dropping it down until it looks real. You're not going to get rid of all of the fleck, the freckles. That's 
unless you just paint over, you know, using using another picture and the like the stamp tool or something. Uh, you're not going to get rid of them. So they're about 60 percent. To me, that looks that looks very real, uh, believable. It doesn't look like it's been airbrushed and and, and messed with Photoshop, basically. There's the before, there's the after, before, after, and that's it. You can do other things like uh, add a little bit of, uh, you know, light up the eyeballs there, or the, the, uh, the blue, so create a new layer. Select your top, your, your foreground color. Come in here and grab a, just kind of a light blue. I'm gonna put the, set the layer to, I think soft light work pretty good. Uh, grab my brush tool. I'm gonna size it down just to where the tool is or the brush size is. Just gonna get that one little area there. Just like so. You can come in here and adjust the opacity. Again, we're we're going for a you know realistic look, not not like the you know color's been painted on. About 40% right there looks uh, looks pretty good. Those layers off. That's what the original. There's the before. And there's the after. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. See you next time.